All right, guys, welcome back. Another video on the Sop with Camel. Got the kettle on. Who knows where we're going to end up this week? Watch along. We'll build the camel, see where we end up. Thanks for watching. Beauty. All right. So I've crimped up my little extension pieces. I think I'll just make them six inches long, which means I end up with just a little, a little cable, something like that. We'll crimp those up, add them to the seat belts. If you remember last video, just playing with the seat belts. Um, we'll raise the attachment point up to here somewhere and just give me some slack, cut me some slack. Then we'll do the shoulder harnesses and we'll move on with something else. All right, so I've got the seat belt adjusted if you like, my bracket, little cable. I don't know what the limits are on cable being so short, but it seems to work. And I drilled my rough holes, rough cut for the seat, seat belts. I've hopped in, all the harnesses fit, and I've got plenty of, so I just hopped out and I've got sort of six inches of uh, adjustment there for a seat pillow, parachute, whatever. Um, I know one test pilot in particular would definitely wear a parachute. I may have to learn how to use one myself. Or do you just wear a parachute and if the need arises, you learn on the way down. Now, the other thing I've noticed, when I hop in with my leg in the way, I only get sort of that much aileron movement. I'll, go, I'll come out here. Um, yeah, I build it to be all full and free and yeah, I've got a foot of aileron each way. But when your legs are in the way, I've only got, you know, 100 mil, four inches because my legs, as I keep saying, um, hit the control stick. Now, the original stick, get in there, the original straight stick was up to here. My leg hits the triangle. This is sort of scale rubbish or, you know, realistic. It doesn't really need to be there, but just to keep it authentic. So my leg sort of hits here. Um, the reason I made it short like that was because of the dashboard. Now, what I now know, I think the dashboard comes back here, contrary to what the plans say, put it forward 28 inches. Um, so you see how this stuff all sort of snowballs a bit. Um, so, also when the elevator's neutral, that should be square, neutral-ish elevator there. So only, yeah, I'm only getting, um, if you can see the other one over there with the down, that's probably... Well, I don't know, is that enough? I don't know, I need someone to... I'll contact my friends who are, who are flying these um, and find out how much travel. Also, maybe I need to tighten the... Well, I do. It's not in rig at the moment um, and the cables, are, the cables are basically slack. But it'd be nice to get uh, a measurement. Now the next thing, I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but when I stand on the rudder bar, fore and aft is fine, but when I stand on it, I've got all this, this movement. Um, and that's with my hand, when my feet are on there. So, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to, what I think I'll do is run some L angles. This is, uh, steel on the sides there so I think I'll put an L angle in there an L angle there L angle on the floor face it with uh, a decent bit of alloy um, rivet it to these well I'll clamp it initially I'll clamp it with my U-Boot Clico clamps and just see what result I get I'm not good enough to bend a bit of alloy and have it fit perfectly in there because when you bend something it, it changes it's either you know you roll it in too narrow or you roll it too fat um, so I'm worried if you look at the top of the bolt and I wobble the bar 
you know, it's it's wandering. Now, because of what it is, that's a, I assume that's an aircraft bolt just welded into this steel frame. I added the Teflon washer in there, if you remember back, if you've been watching from the start. Um, I've tightened this nut up, yeah, so that it doesn't pivot anymore. It probably should be split pinned um, and, ca and castellated nut. Um, so, tighten it up and it's still, so it's not bearing slop, if you like. You can actually see these, these arms here, because it's just flat steel, one caves in and one flexes out and vice versa. Underneath, you know, at the end of the day, we just mounted to straps that have flex as well. Potentially an L angle across to join these two. Would that do much? I'm not sure. Um, so I think what I'll do next, I'm going to make a triangle. Yeah, I can put a lightning hole in it or something, make it look sort of aviation-ish. Um, and we'll, I just want to get rid of some of that. It's almost like it needs a top, you know, bracket to come across and down. Um, although it's, it's this way that I need to stiffen it. Hmm. These are the problems I face. All right, quick cardboard template. Made up my bracket with the L angles. Um, and that, I've had it in there already, so it won't be any surprise, but that fits perfectly in there like that. Now, what I think I'll do is clean it up. I might rivet the front, um, come back, back drill through the steel, and That'll lock it all up nicely. I think I still need then to run an L angle across the bottom. Then that's the best I can do um, to stiffen that up. Nice lightning hole right in the middle. Psst, spray of black. Let's go fly. All right, one bracket. Quick lick of paint. Um, before I go home, I gave it a quick, a quick prime with a rattle can. And I just use, I'm using Dulux, uh, satin black, semi-gloss. It just, um, I don't know, just cleans the parts up. Probably does not much at all. Because I'm rushing a bit, I did the lightning hole and it's slightly off centre, but only I, only, only I know that, so don't tell anyone. Um, now that is tomorrow, because uh, I've got a few brownie points. I'm out here tomorrow. Um, once I clean this up, We'll slide in there. I'll just bite the bullet and rivet it on there. That can't hurt. Hopefully that stiffens it up a bit. Then I'm still gonna run an L angle, which I have to cut down to this thickness so it doesn't protrude out um, to collect this bolt, the center strap, and this bolt. I have to redo my lock wire, um, if you can see that. So I'm just gonna tie it in with an L angle across there. Hopefully then that stiffens up my rudder pedals enough. It's not going to be perfect. You just got way too much. You got 12 inches of leverage on an AN3 bolt, basically. Um, obviously it works because other people are doing it. But anyway, for peace of mind, I'm going to do that. And we'll see how that turns out. All right, there we go. Guss it in. Um, what I did notice, you get a lot of, the bushing could be better in here, I guess, but for what it is now, that stiffened it up quite a bit and I'll run with that. I can sleep well at night. So I've got four um, A5 rivets, or what are they, four, four mil or 4.8 or something. The old Zenith rivets. And I just come through the floor 
with three more bolts, um, one through the strap. I was going to, I was contemplated running an L angle right the way across here, but I think now you're not going to get much better than that. Um, so yeah, let's move on. All right, just using Mighty Mouse. Put some aluminium tape on here and I've just sanded those down. Now I'm gonna come in with the Dremel and the drum sander, just round these off, smooth these off. Turtle deck done. Sand at the front, nice lip. I'll make a template now, throw that under the bench for after it's all covered. All right, blown off the, the sawdust, apart from what's left in my nose. Got the turtle deck all nicely sanded. Beautiful edge up around here. Cleaned up my slots. This will get a face, a fascia piece put on. I might cut that now actually and throw it under the bench. Obviously the covering will come up, wrap around here, probably two inch overlap with the tape. And then I'll glue on a bit of, uh, you know, two mil, what is it? 0.8 of a mil eucalyptus I've got over there. I'll try and work out something nice to do for these slots. Even 3D print apart or I don't know, some brass or copper plates that sort of tuck in. It'd be nice if I could find something. Um, and while I was at it making sawdust, I just sanded these down. Now that is just baby's bum. Beautiful. It's um, really smooth and yeah, fared in nicely. I have to do something with these corners. They sort of just, it's just a corner for no reason. But apart from that, it's ready for a coat of epoxy, in and out. I might put the seat belt in, do it up properly. I made the slots. The reason why these slots are so wide is I need to get like all the, mainly this part of the seat belt in and out. Because obviously I don't want the seat belt hanging out while I glue on a, a fascia piece. However, I need the seat belt installed while I cover it. Once it's cut, so it's going to process is fit the seatbelt, cover it. I want to be able to sort of throw the seatbelt back in the slot, look back in there, cover, paint, stick on the part, then pull the seatbelt back through. That's why the slot's slightly larger than it needs to be. And it's good for the seatbelt. It's not going to rub as much, I guess. But there we are. That's where we're at at the moment. Anyone who's flown one of these or is flying, just let me know the either on deflection that you've got when you're actually in the cockpit. I've got stacks, stacks of aileron, but when you get your legs in the way, reduces it significantly. I might play around now. Let's do some cardboard cutouts for the struts. Kettle on, the, get the kettle on and let's go. All right, it's good to get the side panels back on. Makes it look like I've done a bit of work. A beautiful turtle deck. All good there. These are only template bits, don't forget. I've got to hook up the other ones. I'll do that now. I'll hook those up. Then I might, I'll need to make those panels. The, um, just the wing fairing. Otherwise, you can see the hole I'm going to have. All that there is sort of unaccounted for. So I'll make a nice strip panel. That'll finish the wings. Hook up these ailerons. Now the seat and the harness, sort of all in. Um, and I might pull out the sheet metal and just work out who's who in the zoo. What's going on here? And that'll sort of should tell me where the, the dashboard needs to sit as well. We'll do that. All right, there's my wing strut sort of uh, extensions, if you like. It's no real science. So I just 45 the ends. I want to steer clear of these teardrops, which is sort of functional, or extremely functional. Um, and if I just 45 the ends, that way they're all the same. Or maybe I need to, yeah, bring it down 
spend the time and cut it around here. Then there's nothing to attach it to actually. Uh, my plan was, if I did that like that, out of aluminium, obviously, then when the struts are out, I would prime it, matte black, rivet these on, wrap it to make it look like plywood. The ends can either stay open, probably stay open at the bottom and, and block the top maybe. Um, it just thickens them up, I think, as opposed to the thin ones. May even have to go thicker. That's a two inch fold and a two inch tube, which gives me three inches. I'll check on the plans what size they are. All right, a rough look at the plans. They're about four inches wide. Now, I'm just looking here with my two inches, I still need another inch to get on the center line. Um, so three inch, they only need to be six inch pieces. And I might as well match the angle of these cables, like up here. If I cut it, sort of looks like it needs to go there, having two different angles. It's a bit sort of in there. So, I think that'll be good. I just need a folder, big long folder now. Fold a bit of aluminium straight over. Call in a favour with a few people. But there you go, guys. So, last couple of days, what did I do? A bit of woodwork, fixed up the rudder um, post. Really happy with that. Um, see a problem, fix it. So we're nice and solid now. Um, the next issue I've got, see this one's full and free. This one's a little bit graunchy on the rudder. So I've got a split pin under there, that'll come out. Just, I don't know, it can be, can be better. And you can actually feel that when you move the rudder. Um, there you go, should be, should be nice and smooth. Ailerons are good. My only concern is the the travel. You know, it's I've got a fair bit there, six inches. But when I hop in, it's fairly fairly reduced. Um, covered that. Side panels are on. Oh, I was going to pull out the sheet metal, but it's time for me to knock off. I won't be back for a few days, so just give you guys another walk around. Uh, a lot of things are loose, loosey-goosey. When I come back, I know I say this all the time, do those panels there. Look at this, how good's this? Really happy with that. Um, needs a coat of epoxy at some stage. Uh, now I've got my sanding technique, I might take these, take these edges off. Uh, I need to wait till the tailplane comes off to completely finish that nicely. And then pull the wings off, pull it apart. Um, I'm not sure how the firewall all locks in. That's going to be the next uh, thing, I guess. There is a, a kidney panel that goes in here on that sheet metal. I'm playing with the cowl too. I'll do the cowl in the, um, those swirl, you like these down here, fish scales or swirls. Um, then I'll probably do a polished piece and we'll see how that turns out. So there you go guys, just a quick couple of days on the camel. Um, it's looking good isn't it? I love it. So, watch along, I'll, st I'll stick at it. Um, thanks to those who have just jumped on board with the YouTube, um, try and make it as interesting as I can, but just plodding along, building the aircraft. Um, we'll see where we get to. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week.